What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Donzy Gaming back with another 2K bang, and I feel, ooh, I feel kind of bad for this one. I was holding out on y'all. We about four days out from 24 dropping, and I'm drop, I'm giving y'all the best center build in the game four days away from the next game. I feel kind of crazy for that, but drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, cause oh my goodness, this is a banger. Like, I don't know how it always end up like that, but I always go out of my mind with my last build of the year. I don't know how I do this, but look at this. This is a center. This is a center. Like, I don't even know how to break it down to y'all. If there was one build I ever had that was a dog, if I had one build that I would say got black Air Force energy, it would be this build right here. Cause I mean, look at this, Scrappy. Give me the ball and one. What is you doing? What is you doing? Don't even jump. Like, that's really what I'm talking about. Like, these finishes are just straight disrespectful. Like, at some point, you gotta sit here and say, like, as a man, why are you, why are you getting dunked on like this? Like, this is crazy, dog. This is a center build. I'm, I'm, I gotta say that again. This is a center build. And of course, that means it has a job to do. That job is to play defense, it's to get blocks. Can the build get blocks? It can do all this dunking, but can it play defense? The answer is yes, it's pretty simple. I mean, I don't even know how else to break it, break it down to you. All right, this is obviously a bigger center. Can't even back me down. He's, for me, he got down there and I'm still there. And this, just give me that, just give me that. Again, as a man, <laughs> like, come on. But it can block, but can it rebound? Cannon rebound, bro. I ain't even talking about that no more. I don't even got to talk about that no more. But the best part of this build is this. The ability to play make. Everything you just saw is not the main. Like, that wasn't what I was going for with this build. What I was going for with this build was the ability to dribble. Like, look how big he is. Look how nasty them dunks are. But he's moving like this with the ball in his hands. Like, this build is kind of crazy. It's kind, it's kind of wild that I can even make this. Look at the playmaking ability. They already seen you throw it on their man. They already seen you snatch blocking. So now everyone on the court is scared. You got the ability to throw whoever you want the ball. And they're going to be open. And look at this. I mean, the whole team was trying to stop me on that one. That was just nasty. Excuse me out the way. And we still getting disrespectful with the contacts. I mean, this build was just straight up fun. I, like there's not much more to it look what I was doing in the 1v1s you got ISO up with it and you know how nasty the steals got and I was still having fun with it man this is just man let me give y'all this bill man I was doing too much let me just give y'all the bill ISO boom 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 we got a glass cleaner finisher here first of all first of all first of all if you're new, I can't really say turn the like button blue, but subscribe if it's the only thing that you do. You know what I'm saying? We still going for that big 500 subs. This the number at right now. Hit the subscribe button, please, bro. I'm still giving y'all great builds, and I'm going to continue to give y'all great builds in, what, what, four or five days in 2K24 drop? Subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss builds just like this one. I was dropping bangers all year subscribe anyways glass cleaner finisher 99 overall let me make one thing clear all the all the clips that you've seen most of them happen when i was like a 92 ish i just been upgrading the build because i got nothing else to do with vc right now so it's a 99 right now it could do everything that you just seen when it was a 92 because all i really upgraded I was left was probably like what my layup and my mid-range and things like that because I had other plans for the build apart from what y'all seen but I finished it too late I mean I, like I said I always master the build at the end but let me let me just show y'all the build let me let me give y'all the build real quick let me show it to y'all in here so y'all know I'm not I'm not I'm not joshing for me this is it right here and I'm gonna show you how to make it because best believe this build is gonna be coming with me into 2K24. Is it gonna be my first build? Nah. We gotta make something totally new. We gotta figure out how the game plays before I could just say I'll bring this build. But we talking about this right now, so we gonna get into it. First things first, you see it, Nazi Gamer, subscribe. You know all this don't really matter. All right, but the build, I got it at center. This can be a power forward build, it can be. So it's up to you what you wanna call it, 
but I wanted it to be a center. I thought it would be cool as center, but it could be either a power forward or a center. And then it's whatever, jersey number, whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You feel me? All right, the height. We're going with a 6'10 height. The weight is going to be 271. This is like, I really, I really wanted this to be a heavy build. I wanted this to be a gorilla build. I wanted it to be heavy, but I wanted it to, I wanted it to, to kind of just confuse people. It's a big, heavy build that's dunk everything, but why can't it dribble? <laughs> like, that's what I wanted with this build for real. Ring span, we going with 7'7". Seven, seven. Like I said, I wanted a dunker. The dribbling? I just wanted to mess people up. And I, I did get a lot of people mad with this body shape. I think I went solid. No, nah, I went burly. I went burly with this one. Like I said, I wanted it to look all the way wrong. I wanted it to be dribbling. I wanted it to be jumping over people. And I wanted it to look wrong. If anything, this is like a, a Zion-ish kind of build. Though, even though it's really tall, but that's really what I was going for. All right, we're going to get into the attributes. A 58 driving layup, right? 58 drive. I said drive and layup. Wow. Close shot is going to be a 58. Now you might be saying blah, 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 fast. Twitch, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to miss the layups. We're going to we're gonna address that, all right? We're going to address that. Drive and layup. The actual drive and layup is going to be a 77. I wanted this build to be the bully build. I, this was my idea of a bully build. This build is going to have mad strength, and I have to give it some layup. But I really just want the animation. I just want to push people out the way. But Bully only activates for layups, so I had to have some layup on this build. Driving dunk, it was a 97. I was, I was, <laughs> yo, I was out there wailing. It was a 97 driving dunk. All right, standing dunk, it's gonna be an 83. This is why I'm saying don't worry about the close shot. If you're under the rim, you have a 97 driving dunk. That means you have posterizer. You have riser on silver because you have an 83 standing dunk. You're gonna get the dunk unless you're taking something you shouldn't be taking. You're gonna get the dunk. It's that simple. Post control. We are gonna leave that, right? Mid range, 66. That three pointer. We going with a 78 three pointer. Yeah, yeah. I was shooting with half of the 78, but that's what we got on this build. 53 on the free throw. If you know your free throw in this game, you're good. I miss a couple. I'm not gonna lie. I, I missed a couple, but it's pretty easy to time your free throw here. I'm like my percentage is still pretty high. Like if I had a high free throw, I don't think it would be any different. If you know your form, you know it this year. Pass accuracy, that's gonna be a 50. It's gonna be a 50 ball. I know this is not a pro and build. This is not a meta build. This is fun. It's black air force energy. This is, I'm trying to confuse whoever is matched up with me. 50 pass accuracy. You saw I was still throwing lobs. I was still, feel me, um, break, break starting, grabbing the board, throwing it up the court. I was still doing it. 50 pass accuracy. Really all you need to be viable in this game is like a 55. Well, I gave it, I, you know, I was going for something really specific with this build. So 50. Ball handle. This is what was really messing people up. I got an 80 ball handle on this joint. That's center. 300 pound center with 80 ball handle. Woo wee. That's crazy. 50 speed with ball. You know that don't matter this year. You saw this movie. You know speed with ball don't matter this year. Interior defense is a 74. I'm gonna take down 74 interior, right? Perimeter defense is a 51. You're not the fastest. You're not supposed to be out there. I mean, you're a center. Not just a name. You're you're 300 pounds. You're a center. You're not supposed to be on the perimeter that much. But if you are, you're not doing too bad. I mean, you're not doing the worst. Steal, eesh, 26. This is not a build to be stealing the ball on. Take your hand away from the square button if you got this build. All right, especially if you think about remaking this kind of build in 24, you lose like five percent of your your attributes if you lose a, uh, adrenaline. Take your hand off the square button, buddy. Block. We going with a big boy, a 93. That was the block on it. That's why I'm snatching everything out the air. Offensive rebound. Oh, yo, this build was nasty. I don't know why I did this to people. This build was nasty. I had a 99 offensive rebound. That one putback y'all seen, I wanted to do a lot more of those, but they're really bad this year. This might be the worst year for putbacks I've seen in a minute. I had a 99 old board. I was still catching them. I was still catching the board, but a lot of times if I was going for a putback, it just wouldn't work. The 
defensive rebound and staying at 84. That's you know, you're more than good. You're 6'10, 84 rebound. You get Hall of Fame rebound chaser because of the old boy being a 99. So that combined with the fact that this vertical right here is gonna be an 82, you're fine. All right, speed 71, acceleration 56. Don't matter this year. We already we know the builder. The game is over for me. We play in 24 in a couple days. It don't hurt to say it. Acceleration did not matter this year at all, right? Strength. Now, this is the only reason that I say I might bring this build into 24. I was ahead of the curve. The strength on this build is 89. It's 89. This build is very, very doable next year, depending on how dribbling works, of course, because apparently speed with ball matters this year and you know, all the badges. We gotta play the game before we could say any build is gonna work or not gonna work, right? And then stamina is gonna be at 85. Whoa, something's wrong here. Something is very wrong here. I don't know where I messed up. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, one of the problems, post control is supposed to be a, I don't know, I, I went over with something, probably when I was doing ball handle. Post control is a 29, remember I said that. Boom, stamina 85. This is a solid build. This is a solid, even, okay, hear me out. If you wanna take this to comp, if you wanna play with this in the Pro-Am, take it as power forward. Don't take it as the center. You see me defending bigger builds. Yes, you can. Do I recommend doing it? No. For me, the batch spread is 18, 14, six, and 24. Like I said, again, not a meta, not a meta build. The batch spread is actually pretty bad. Like I get the extra badges from hitting 40 a couple times and rebirth, etc. The badge spread on this was bad. You only get six playmaking badges. I know I was moving, I was moving, but you only get six, right? With the takeovers, you would think with the 97 dunk, you get slash and take no. All you get is sharp, rim protecting, and glass cleaning. That's it. The takeovers was also pretty bad on this build, but you saw what I was doing. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice, you know, the badges and the takeovers for what the build can actually do. The build's actual stats. You gotta take both into account when you're making builds. Sometimes the build with the most badges is not the best build. That's just how it is. So we keep going. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What we got? What's the shade? Onyeka Okongu. I'm happy I didn't butcher that. Walker Kessler. Butcher that, of course, the easier one. And Wendell Carter Jr. Not, I, I would say terrible shades, but you know, they all, they, these are all players right now. They're right. None of them is stars, Femi superstars. They're just good role players for their team. But you take a role player kind of built, build, and you know, if you do it right, glass clean and finisher, you see what I was doing. I got a lot of hate messages on this build because. I just, you know, people get on the mic when I'm in the 1v1s. They ask me what's wrong with me, like why am I even in here feeling like this? Forget the shades. The build is good. The build is fire. I I'll give y'all a quick badge breakdown. I'll give y'all a quick badge breakdown, right? All right, so boom. Like I said, I do get the extra badges, so this is not my exact setup. Just based on strictly what, they get, what they're giving you, I'll give y'all what I'll do. Limitless takeoff, off the rip. Fearless finisher and slithery, right? So here, something would have to get poured. I have not on the build got the chance to use bully at all because it took me so long to finish the build. I never got the chance to use bully. So like I said, um, I get the extras, so it made more sense for me. But what I probably have to do here is probably go one badge down. Now you get seven to core. Boom, now you could go rise up. Of course, that'd be the safest option. Just get rise up, you're good. Or fast twitch. Like I said, I put my extra badges in here because I knew I'd have some issues. Well, I wanted to have fun though, and I wanted to have on bully. That's this is really what I wanted to rock. Me personally, because I won't have a problem. I won't get mad if I don't get the standard dunk. I know what I chose. Shooting wise. The badges didn't really matter that much shooting wise on this build. You get 14 badges, so you don't really even 
get to go into tier 3 unless you have the extra badges. It didn't matter too much to me. Agent 3s, of course. And everything else is really just like, of course you want volume shooter. Green Machine. Amped would be very good on this build. I'm not gonna lie to you. You should have Amped if you're playing on this build. And if you want to be a slasher, of course, Slippery Off Bowl. Can't afford, can't afford. You need 5 extras. So basically, you always needed 15 to get into tier 3. That's just what it is. If you have the extras, of course, Catch and Shoot was better. For me, Dead Eye. But that's just not an option you have right now. So what I would do here, whichever one of these, I get on gold, I get on gold. Can't even get any of them on gold. So it would be the same thing for me to core this, turn on guard up, and you're, you're, you're living. You're not doing too bad. Playmaking. This was actually the one that like I got the least amount of badges on, but this is the one I actually paid attention to when I was making the build. Because I was like, six badges, what am I really like? I almost had five, but I, I got to six by doing the 50 and 50 with the Femi. Alright, Clamp Breaker. We're trying to have that pretty high. But quick first step, whatever's in the tier two, we have to we have to core one of these. Vice grip would be better to core, I'm not gonna lie, but that's just not what I'm rocking right now. Cause I wanted to have on handles for days and hyperdrive too. It will be better to do this, but then you can't get one of these. So what I did was I went clamp breaker here and I took this. But no, I want a quick first step. I know that for surely I want a quick first step. So I probably went like that and then just had this on bronze. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Three and three. If you have the extras, you allot them wherever you want. Ideally, I'd have killer combos. I'd have clamp breaker with silver, feel me? Um, but you know, we gotta work with what we got. Defensive and rebounding. You got 24 of them things to play around with. 24, so you already know. I love me a good chase down. But that box out beast, I went like, I'm pretty sure I did this right here. And then workhorse, I wanted that on. Everything else don't matter. You don't got no steel. You don't have no reason to put on glove or interceptor. Menace, you're not even on the perimeter. You're not supposed to be on the perimeter. If you want, you can put on post lockdown. That's what I'd be doing if I'm gonna go play fives or sometimes you just need post lockdown. But the most important thing about this build is that you get the Hall of Fame rebound chaser. And then you get gold anger. And then you still got seven matches to work with. Go pogo. You oh my you're looking good. You're looking good, kid. All right, so you could go, if you want to go lower on the box out beast and go higher on the chase down, you do that. But I don't think that's really necessary. You already got the gold anchor, silver chase down and do it with a, what was it, 87 block? You'd be all right. Go silver here. You get a better chance of getting the boards that you're scared about if you have on box out beast. Gonna be better. It's gonna work better with the rebound chaser. That's just what it is. So, that's pretty much it for this build. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. We're going for the 400. Help a brother out. Help a small YouTuber grow. Apart from that, let me know if you enjoyed the build. Let me know what changes you would make. Let me know if you expecting to see this build in 2K24 with me. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm out of here. Peace.